Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to install and use this Paytrain GUI version. It is completely free and open source software and you can get it for free from its official GitHub page as you can see it here. And in this video, we will jailbreak iOS 16. This will work on iOS 15 as well. As you can see it here, I have this iPhone 8 Plus on iOS 16.2 and we will jailbreak it in this tutorial. You don't have to turn on developer mode manually. It will be automatically turned on for you if you are on iOS 16. All right, guys, as you can see, I am on Mac OS now. So simply, first of all, open this official GitHub page for this software. Again, it is completely free and it will support Mac OS High Sierra also. So the lowest version that it supports is High Sierra up to Mac OS Monterey. You can check out the page here. Simply scroll down and get the latest release from here. You will see this palerain.dmg file. Download it. I have already downloaded this file as you can see it here. Before you begin, you will have to install some packages to make it work. It is very easy to do. Go to brew.sh. This is also completely free. And then simply copy this code or command from here. Open a new terminal. And now simply paste this command here and press enter. Type in your Mac password. Press enter. And let it finish. All right, guys. When the brew installation is complete, now simply type in the commands it is very easy brew install lib i mobile device lib i recovery and simply python all right press enter and wait for the installation of these packages to complete i have already installed them so as you can see them here for me, it is done. Now you can simply close out of this terminal. And then we will start installing the DMG that we have downloaded. Double click, double click again, and finally open. All right, as you can see it here, it is now open. You can close out of these windows. Also guys, if you are getting an error of some developer or untrusted developer, you can simply go to system preferences, security and privacy, and then simply from here, you can allow it. And then the Pelerin GUI will open. All right, guys, here we are. Now connect your device in DFU mode here. Now guys, when you connect your device in normal mode, it should show up here, but I don't know why it is not showing up for me here. But from here, I will go to DFU mode and then my device will show up here. All right, guys, as you can see, my device is in DFU, iPhone 8 Plus, so it is 10,2. If you want to restore your file system back to stock, go to Options and then Restore Root FS from here. Now to jailbreak your device, start, OK. Type in your password here. And then if you are in DFU, click Proceed in DFU. Now from here, select your version. So I am on 16.2 or you can manually type your version here. All right. But I will select it from the drop down menu. OK, type in your password here again and then the process should start. Now it will start creating a RAM disk. So this process can take some time. So please wait here. All right, as you can see, it is now booting my device up. All right, now it will start creating the file system as this is a semi-tethered jailbreak. So wait for up to 10 minutes. On A11, it is faster. All right, guys, file system is done. Now it will download some more files. All right, guys, so after copying the files, if you are on iOS 16, your device will literally turn off at this point. Now, to force reboot it, volume up, volume down, and keep holding power until you see the Apple logo. 
all right so guys from here get your device into recovery mode if it does not close automatically and then go to dfu press any key and then follow the instructions all right so my device entered the dfu now it will download some more required files and then it will boot your device into normal mode as you can see it here all right so the process is now complete your device should go into normal mode and then your device will respring after 30 seconds and then you will get the pale rain loader all right as you can see it here we have the pale rain loader now simply open it and then install and then finally hit respring you can check out the version i am on 16.2 iphone 8 plus you can also upgrade so that i can show you that it works we have the updates installed so everything is working just well for it also guys if you want to remove the parent gui just right click here eject and force eject and it is gone also guys if you want to start over and you want to remove the pale rain folder from your device so that when you jailbreak with the same device you and a new version you can do so so type as cd temp slash temp all right now ls you will see this pale rain folder here so we will remove it by sudo rm rf pale rain press enter type in the password and it is gone ls and you can see it is gone and now you can start over if you want for a same device or a new device that's all for this video guys if you still have questions you can always ask me in the comment section and i will reply you as soon i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself